Hi, are you ready to boop some snoots? I am sure ready to boop some snoots. Welcome to the show. This is Heidi. And this is Vero. And today we're going to talk about some products, um, some dog clothes that we found online and our favorite products. Mm -hmm. That we use on our dogos. Yeah. So um, on a few episodes back, I think even near the beginning, Vera and I did a um, a run out to the local pet stores to see sort of what was out there and what's available and stuff like that. And we even played a couple of games on our shows called Boober Snoot, where Boop was like, yeah, we like that product. And Snoot was, no, we turn our snoots away from it. So we won't necessarily mm -hmm. play that this time. I think we're just going to talk about some of the stuff that's out there because there are a lot of products available yes. um, for your dog. And I like you look at some of them and you think this is ridiculous, but I just can't even believe like <laughs> some of them made it to like shelves like in stores. Yes. But I guess anything's possible. Yeah. People love their dogs. So do you want do you want to might be a good place to start, Vero? Is like what do you plan on getting for your dog in Ooh, the beginning? Yes. Mm -hmm. I have some items in my Amazon cart <laughs> already. <laughs> Um, one big item, and I think we this was an item that we did boop or snoot on. Mm -hmm. It was the Furbocam. Oh, yes. So I looked up some reviews about the Pet Cube, mm -hmm. and I think I really I prefer the Pet Cube over the Furbocam. Okay, so what's the uh, difference? Let me tell you why. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear it. <laughs> boop, let me tell sister. You why. Boop, sister, boop. <laughs> Furbocam, snoot. <laughs> okay. I guess it depends what you're looking for. So apparently the pet cube has better quality video. Mm -hmm. It's not as like choppy mm -hmm. and the Wi-Fi connection can be stronger. The size of treats that you can fit are bigger. So I think you can go up to one inch with the pet cube and only half an inch with the Furbo cam. So mm -hmm. if you're planning on feeding your dog a raw diet, um, often the, the treats are like a weird shape, right? Mm -hmm. So that's better for that. Um, what else? The compartment where you put the treats in on the pet cube, you can actually detach and clean it separately. And you can actually put it in the dishwasher. See, that sounds more user friendly to me. When yes. I, like, and, and not even talking like pet stuff, when I'm looking at a product of any kind, like for the kitchen or the home or whatever, the big thing, and, and it is when you think of pets too, because pets are going to make things dirty, is how easy is it to wash. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yes. Yes. Yes to the pet cube. What else does it do? Um, you can, for both cameras, you can talk to your dog, but only with the pet cube can you hear your dog. Mm. And I think that's important. <laughs> I didn't. I did, I I just assumed on the Furbo because I've seen lots of ads for it that you could hear them. Really, you can't hear on the Furbo. Well, on the one review that I lo I looked at more review on um, more than one review, mm -hmm. um, but the only one there's one review that said this. The other ones didn't really mention it. Not that I think, and that's the thing. I don't think I would actually talk to my dog. I think that would freak him out. <laughs> Because they'd be like, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where'd she go? Yeah, but I would want to hear what's going on. Yes. Like the couch being chewed. Well, ex exactly. Because <laughs> if you can't hear them, then like, I, or if you can't, sorry, if you can't see them on the cam, you might want to tune in because yeah, if you, yes. you're like, oh, 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 it sounds oh, like oh. the door frame is being eaten. <laughs> it sounds like they're drinking out of the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and the last thing, the pet cube, you can actually mount on the wall and it comes with a kit. Okay. Whereas the Furbo cam, uh, you can't. And if you don't have a space that's high enough to place it, then you're stuck placing it like on a coffee table where your dog might be able to access it and knock it over. Do you mind if I ask how much these things cost? No. So the pet cube is more expensive. Mm -hmm. It is four hundred and twenty nine dollars holy crap yeah and the furbo cam is 299 oh okay those are still pretty expensive products i would even be worried especially with the furbo cam and especially if you're talking to your dog and depending on how well your dog is trained i would be worried about them like knocking it off or damaging it like getting yeah. excitable with you like chatting to them i wonder the time, what the warranty know? is on that yeah i wonder what they say about that Mm hmm. 
So yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the pet cube, mm-hmm. so I can watch my pup. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be so not productive at work. <laughs> I'm gonna be showing everybody. Oh, look at what he's doing. Oh, so he's just... sleeping. Oh, oh, he moved a little bit. <laughs> I That's think cool. I'm already annoying like some people talking about. The puppy you're going to get? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Well, I think I told you this story. Like, So um, I work in an OR, and there was this one physician that we worked with that was like l- literally the most patient guy you could ever meet in the whole entire world. And when it was, was the weeks leading up to when I was getting Gibbon, I kept singing like songs about getting a puppy, and I kept going, puppy, 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 like at work <laughs> all the time. And a friend of mine was, um, uh, it was like the, the end of a surgical case. So it's not like it was a crucial time or anything. I'm not like that irresponsible of a <laughs> healthcare professional. <laughs> but um, it was the end of the case and um, he was uh, suturing. And I was saying to my friend who was, who was uh, scrubbed in with him, I kept going, puppy, I'm so excited for my puppy, my puppy, puppy, <laughs> puppy, puppy. And like, he just, he, he put down his instruments and just get, looked up at me with this like, death, and I was just like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll be quiet, I'll be quiet. And I think it's like, oh, I'm the, probably the only person who like actually tested like his yeah. patience because I just like, I couldn't stop, like I was just like bouncing off the walls. I couldn't wait. So I understand your excitement I know I just want to talk about it yeah but then but then I don't (laughs) because I feel like I'm annoying (laughs) well I would say that boob snoots is a safe place for puppy excitement yes and I am imagine like like it's still three months away imagine when it's going to be like just a few days Uh, oh I know oh I know (laughs) oh I know Mm -hmm. um all right I need some Ativan (laughs) (laughs) some calm puppy, down some puppy like cbd oil to rub all over your body <laughs> um so an, uh, one product that i want to bring up that i bought recently because like again I, I don't know maybe i'm a skeptical person but whenever i see a product i think like hmm how well does that work can i wash that easily and like how much is it is it going to be worth the money is this going to be another you know piece of crap that you end up throwing out like down the road so anyways, so I tend to ask a lot, you read up on reviews and stuff, but one product that I would like to recommend is, um, I think it's called Mud Paws. And it's, oh, yes. And it's like, that these is different... in my cart also. Yes. <laughs> and it's a container and on, lined inside the container is this plastic um, with like little bristles like soft bristles sort of like along that literally folds up into a circle and you put into the plastic container and it has a lid on top and you fill it with water and they have different sizes for the different sized dogs that are out there so they have little tiny ones for little baby dog paws and then they have um, larger ones for like huge like breed dogs so I got the medium for Gibbs and basically like so in the springtime here like we get a huge thaw with the snow it turns your backyard into like pure mud or you go to somewhere like um the dog park where it's full of mud and they're just tracking mud absolutely everywhere so you fill this thing with water and then you just dip their paws into it and it's like very soft like it's made out of silicon i'm pretty sure um because it's very durable and you dip their paws into it and the bristles just sort of like just take all of that mud off and so i bought one i keep it at our back patio door like in close to our laundry room where we have our laundry sink and whenever i see like the dogs have got like caked on like mud or even if they went digging into something and they got all the grass strands and stuff stuck in their claws um i go and get my mud paws and uh, and i so the dog i make gibbon sit or stand and for the back paws obviously and you just dip their paws in it really quick you just go like dip 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 and it just brushes all of the dirt off their paws and then you open it up and you just dump the water out and you can pull the bristles out and it folds out into like a flat mat so that you can wash it very easily and it's it's awesome I love it I use it all the time my mud paws so how does Gibbon like it I know you mentioned that he didn't like his paws touched well he 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 doesn't like it but he like regardless allows it (laughs) every single time he comes in like from the rain or from the snow like they know that our routine is you you sit at the door I open the door I say okay 
he comes in and then he knows. And sometimes he'll stand there and just like, look at me. And I'm like, and I just stand there and stare right back at him. Like, knows. you know, we ain't going anywhere until you sit and we wipe them pals down. And then, so he goes, mm-hmm. <sighs> And then he sits and gives me his paw and I'm like, yep, like it's not going to change, buddy. Like we do this every time. But anyway, yeah. so um, he, he, the first time I used the mud paws, he found it a bit strange, but it's like no different than me using a towel, except this just takes yeah. the mud off like way easier. So I still keep a towel there because their paws are wet, obviously, after you're dipping it in the water. So I just dry off their paws. But man, I, I highly recommend the mud paws. I want one. Yeah, get one. Yes. Bow show. Bow show. So I have a product that I want to get mm-hmm. for when my dog is full size. Mm-hmm. It's those um, those dog pants. Mm. I know they look ridiculous, mm-hmm. but I think I think they're going to prevent some headaches and it's going to save some time on those muddy walks. Yes. So, yeah. um, you- first of all, have you ever seen? the pictures and stuff on the internet where people have big fluffy dogs and they put pantyhose on them. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) So if you haven't seen those people, you need to have a look because it is funny. It is funny. Like on big floofs and then like their legs just look like ridiculous. But um, that's what the pants (laughs) sort of make me. Have you seen them on dogs before? Yeah. Yeah. I've seen them used at the dog park that we go to because Anytime there's even like the least bit of rain, you get these massive puddles at the dog park. And Becky, ugh, Becky, if if I'm not walking with her, like when my dad takes her, um, she of course doesn't listen and she goes and lays down right in the middle of the puddle, like a pig, <laughs> like a pig. And she goes like blah 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 blah, like in the in the water with her mouth. And it's gross because dogs like poop in there. Dogs pee in the puddle. Like it's. <laughs> Wiggum, Wiggum, who's like a water dog or mm-hmm. should be, did not like the puddles, but he did pee in them. Yeah. So think about that next time your dog rolls into oh, a mud. Oh, I puddle. know. If that's why when I'm with her, she she doesn't like, and because I've and I've got her on the e collar too, so I've trained her like not to. But even there's been times where I forget to put the e collar on, and she still she knows like she goes she knows, to walk eh? towards the puddle, and I'm like Becky, and she takes like a turn, like mm-hmm. oh um, no no I'm not going to no no. <laughs> just I was thinking about it, but no. Just, just gonna look at just, my reflection. But um, I've I've seen uh, samoids, and I I think I spoke on the last show uh, mm-hmm. about samoids are the big white fluffy dogs. And um, uh, there was a woman at the park uh, who had the pants on her samoids, especially in the spring with those big muddy puddles, because I can't even imagine what that would be like. Yeah, I think they're called muddy mutts. I'm just looking them up. I mean, yeah. there's other ones, but I think the most popular ones are muddy mutts. So yeah, walking your dog and all the water splashing and all the mud splashing onto their stomachs, got to wash them after. So I think that's going to save a lot of time. And also, like if you don't dry them properly, they can they can get like hot spots and yes, and all um, that terrible stuff. Two things that I'll say about that. I'm sure there's a variety of different companies. But I took a photo when, when we went to the stores back a, a while back there. And I took a photo of one and the company's called Fufu Dog. <laughs> Fufu Dog. Dog. That's cute. And it's a it's called a bodyguard, but it's literally like dog pants and it covers like the bottom part of their body. <laughs> it leaves their privates open, obviously, in case they need to whiz or yes. relieve themselves in any sort of way. But um <laughs> there was I'm just look sorry, I'm just looking at the dogs in nylons. <laughs> and some of them are so like amazing. lying down on their sides and they have high heels on. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Those are exactly the ones I was thinking of. Okay. Oh, wow. Sa- save that so we can put it up on the website for people to see. Because yes. It it's literally hilarious. I think that look it I up and fluff looking- stuff. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> um with the oh yeah, two things I wanted to say about the dog pants. Number one, um, that I'll start with is you were saying like like you plan on getting them for your dog. I've seen them used on a variety of different dogs, but um, one of our friends Nicole, who has her two goldens, yes, 
her dogs uh, will jump in while well, one of them pees in the puddle and the other one like just runs right through it and they will go and roll in puddles and they love one of them loves the water like so much harp mm-hmm. loves the water when she came up to my cottage once and it's sat harper, in the lake. right yeah and wouldn't leave the lake but nicole uses um a dog shampoo on them and when we were up at the cottage and harper was in the lake and then rolling around like and just covered in dirt I'm not kidding you, like within the hour, she's dry and there's not an ounce of dirt on her. And I think that depends on the type wow. of shamp- shampi- shamp- shampi- shampoo. <laughs> it's <laughs> shampi- number two. Shampoo. <laughs> shampoo that you use on your dogs because it almost creates like, um, it, it's almost like like a scotch guarding for your like furniture. It, cre- it creates like a bit okay. of like a, a film. So this like dirt and moisture sort of like wick off of their fur after a while. Ooh, we'll have to ask her. Yeah. So something to think about. Yeah. But um, but I can't wait to see your dog in pants. <laughs> <laughs> and same type of idea with uh, doggy boots, which I yeah. have. I kept them from a uh, Wiggum. So yeah, when, when it's really cold outside, or I feel like they're more useful when it's slushy. Slushy and salty. Yes. That's when Wiggum had a, the hardest time outside so very useful for that and again depending and they're on... so cute when, oh, they, they are when you put cute. them on the first time another thing for people to look up is dogs who are putting on boots for the first time yes <laughs> they do this hilarious walk i have a video of becky the first time we put boots on her and it's i don't know how to describe it it's like their their paw movements are exaggerated it's almost it's like, like a deer like a baby deer like, learning how to walk yes it's also very hilarious but yeah (laughs) boots is another one i'm i'm sort of on the fence with the dog boots i understand the whole concept behind um we live in a very wintry city so yes they salt the roads and stuff so the winter can be tough if you're walking them on the sidewalks and around like downtown streets and sort of inner city walks then i i think you definitely have to be conscious about the salt wear on their pads and it can really be damaging and painful for them and there's either boots you can use for that or there's wax products a variety of different wax products that they put on yes dogs paws like beeswax and stuff like that um and they come in a nice container where you can literally just rub their paws on it um the thing for that for me and that's just me being picky is that like you would have to put it on like right at the door because i don't want wax all over my floors in my house (laughs) And then um, how safe is it for them and how much do you want them ingesting it? Because then when you get back, they're going to be licking at it, right? Would would be my thing as well. And then the other thing with boots too, because there's actually, and it's sort of on the same note as the pants, because um, there used to be a woman in our neighborhood and she actually came up with the brand Mutlux. They're called, was it her? No, maybe I'm thinking of a different product. Oh, crap. Anyways. Um, Mutlux is a very durable boot for your dogs. They are crazy expensive. It's like 80 bucks for these boots. And, yes. the th- and the thing is, is that if you have the type of dog that takes off into the woods or goes running somewhere in the park, like far where you can't see them and they come back, it's like kids with gloves. Like you spend lots of money on for them to wear gloves. And then in like two seconds, they lose like a pair and then it's gone. Yeah. Wiggum lost, um... I'm surprised that I still have all of the four boots. They were also about $80. Mm-hmm. They're like the Vibram sole. Mm-hmm. Anyways, they look nice, but there's also the, uh, they worked well, um, except that sometimes when he got like a little bit crazy and was running around at the park, he would lose one. Mm-hmm. But there's also the um, the feet covers that are like balloons, like rubber balloons. Yes. I was just looking at So I, I prefer those. And when talking about products, yeah, I tried the balloon ones on Becky. If you don't need any grip. Yes. They're a bit more difficult to get on. I will say that because I remember trying to get them on poor Scrappy at the last household. Because same thing, we had a super muddy backyard in the spring. And I was tired of cleaning off their paws. I constantly, I would keep like a Tupperware bowl and try to dip it in. And then they would move or shift and then knock like the Mm. bowl of water over. Like, And I was just like, oh my God. That's when I needed my mud paws thing back then. But um. 
the balloons are hard to get on. So speaking of products, they have a <laughs> tool to apply yes, the boots Yes, I've with. used that tool. <laughs> have you? Not and on Wega, it, but at a friend's house. Okay. So it yeah, looks like... Yeah, it actually works it's like really a, well. Does it? So it spreads yeah. like the balloon opening for you mm -hmm. so that you can slide yeah. their paw in a bit easier. I'm trying to see if I can see the price on this one. I don't think so. Or if I can remember correctly, it was like around 20 bucks for the... For the... The, the, the grasper. It's called Paw... So the, the balloons, like this company that I found is called Paws. So that's the name of the company that, that does the blues the balloon um booties and then the tool is called pause jaws <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> so you pause hook it jaws. around <laughs> these jaws and then it opens up the balloon so that you can slide their feet in a little bit easier so ooh, i just found a full body slush suit <laughs> <laughs> uh, i find it so funny on the site I really where do. i sent you the little toque the dog with the toque on the same website. Yes. <laughs> Canada. You want to talk? You want to talk about? You want to talk about toques for your dogs? Do you think yeah. you'd be able to keep? I don't it think on? they're useful, but they're cute. <laughs> they're very cute, but uh, yeah, I, I my dogs. If you try putting, I, I guess it's the same sort of thing, right? If you want your dog to wear clothing, get start them on it young, like when you have them, yes. and start putting stuff on them. Now on Instagram. Mm -hmm. there's a golden retriever named Kevin and I think his um his name on there is a golden named Kevin mm -hmm. he always has a hat on or most of the time oh yeah he has a little cap with his name on it it's super cute oh it's so cute it's very cute it's very cute okay here's something ridiculous that I just have to have to bring up so this was a product it's called the rover booster seat and it is a contraption that you attach to your car seat. And it's like a little basket for your dog to sit in <laughs> with like a harnessed like seatbelt. I think that's ridiculous so that they're more raised. So they're not actually sitting on the seat. They're raised off of the seat. Like, oh, on for the every seat. size. No, or this looks smaller. This, dogs? this says maximum 30 pounds. OK. And you attach it with the seatbelt somehow to like i don't know that just so they can see out the me. window yeah <laughs> ridic ridiculous yes. ridiculous snoot. snoot big time snoot um another there's a variety of products in relation to this too is like all different stuff for like dog beds so there's like pet bed coolers there's pet bed warmers so like there's these yeah. like like sort of like bean bags that you you put in the microwave and then you put in their dog bed like with a cover on top of it so that it's warm no. for them <laughs> <laughs> do you want to know what else is warm and you can cuddle up to me <laughs> <laughs> no microwave I'm the opposite involved. i'm the cold one <laughs> Yeah, there's there's sometimes where I'm like taking a nap on the couch with Gibbs and he's like curled up like you know when like right in your nook of your legs. Yeah. And and then he and then all of a sudden like, you know, something grabs his attention or he hears the kids like come out of their rooms upstairs and he leaves and I'm like so cold. I'm like, come back. Oh no. <laughs> come back. Come back, Gibbs. Maybe I need a microwave bed warmer. What else did I find? I have I have a heating pad. I'm not gonna lie. I do have oh. my own thing. <laughs> Ooh, I don't. Mm, they're the best. Maybe I should get one because I'm always cold. You should get one because it's a maze. All right, I found a product um, that you can attach to a crate. You can put peanut butter on it, and then you attach it to a crate, so it keeps your dog busy. Oh. Yeah, it's called Groove, and yeah, it looks pretty cool. Like, it doesn't look dangerous, like something that you shouldn't be putting in a crate. Like, it looks like hard rubber, kind of like a Kong material. Yeah. So that was pretty interesting. And then I think you mentioned this on the last episode. Uh, if you're having trouble, like, giving a shower to your dog, to put, like, peanut butter oh, yes, on yes, the yes. wall. Oh, so yep. there is something for that. Uh, it is called, well, it's like a licky, it's a lick mat. Okay. With like suction cups. 
oh, I so believe you can behind it. Cup so it? you can just, yeah. Um, so there's like grooves in it. So it's harder to lick the peanut butter off. Like, I guess that's good because then you can like take it off and put it in the dishwasher or whatever. But at the same time, yeah. it's, just, it's just as easy to like wipe your tile clean like in the shower. <laughs> yeah. But I think it's probably harder for them to lick it off the lick mat than the wall. Oh, I see what you mean. Yes. So that it just keeps them occupied for longer while you're mm -hmm. trying to trick them into like, having a bath. Yeah. But if you buy a slush suit for your dog, you might not have to give your dog a bath. <laughs> a full body slush suit. <laughs> it, it, it so depends on what kind of dog you have, right? Like there's the dogs that are just like, I am going to find the most disgusting thing and roll in it. And it doesn't matter like what you do or say. It's, yeah. it's, it's going down. And then there's like the dogs that like, you know, are like, don't like the water and don't like the yucky things. Like they're like, ew, and they're like, too posh, too posh for dirt. <laughs> I'm posh, okay with posh. posh. I'm okay with posh too, but at the same, like, have you ever, I'm sure you've seen the videos too of like the Goldens, like literally in a thick mud puddle, like covered, yes. covered <laughs> yes. from head to toe in oh. mud. And whenever, and it's, it's funny watching other owners too, like watch that go down. Like when Becky goes and lays in the middle of those disgusting puddles at, at the dog park, like it's, if there's people around, they're like, oh, <laughs> and, <laughs> and they're like, I'm in, happy that's not my dog. I remember there being a product on the dragon's den and it was sort of like this little water tank that you carry around in the back of your car so that you can spritz down oh. your dog like after like a dirty walk of some kind um i'm not sure what the company is called or whether i can't remember whether they, they got a deal or not on the dragon's den but um it's a good idea it's it's a good idea the only thing is is that in a city like us where it's very cold and wintry like you forget that dog tank in your car and it freezes overnight and then yeah. is it going to crack the whole thing <laughs> and it and, explodes or even if you like will it freeze in the amount of time that you go for a walk or will it be it will at the very least be like frozen cold and then you're just like it wouldn't yeah. it just well it just simply wouldn't work in the winter because you're either like ice ba bathing your dog it's like the ALS yeah. challenge well i guess you wouldn't really need it <laughs> as much in the winter yeah Right. Well, hmm. interesting. You say that, but at the cottage, <laughs> Scraps went and found like a, a a dead deer carcass or something, and came back like, oh god, nasty. Yep. So you never know. You Scraps. never know what surprises await you in the great outdoors. So oh, something Scraps. to think about. Oh, Scrappy, Scrappy, no. <laughs> there's another product here and again i don't know how i feel about it uh it's a company called messy mutts and they make different um silicon molds for either baking or ice treats for your dog like some people will make little ice cubes and treats in the summer for their dogs oh. But to me, it's like you could go to the dollar store and get like little shaped things too. Like like this, yeah. Like these things are like expensive, right? Like I forget how much this one was. I think it was above ten bucks though. But you could just as easily go to like the dollar store and get little like molds of different things. Make some ice cubes. I found something ridiculous. Oh, okay. Yes. Let's let's hear it. I, I'm just trying to find. <laughs> I'm just trying to find it. <laughs> but basically, it's like slippers that you put on your dog but they act as a mop <laughs> <laughs> they're called pet sweep pet and there's sweep? four of them <laughs> that is ridiculous yeah. it's to help tidy up the floor redonkulous i i always said that swipper should make like children's pajamas because when kids are like um younger they they like crawl all over the floors all the time so if you made them like swimmer pajamas <laughs> then they yeah would clean your floors for you and it could be the same for the doggles i like the dog puzzles oh yes that's the thing that i brought up that's good for when they're younger and some of the training and some of the stuff that preoccupy uh, preoccupies them i can't speak mm -hmm. today 
I'm having a non a non speak day. <laughs> That's me every day. Um, so we got one for Christmas. I think it was like one or two Christmases ago. So there was one where it's like there's different like buttons. So the dog boops it with their nose and then it opens up a, a door and then there's a treat inside. Ooh. So you hide treats in these little like puzzles for them to do. And I thought like Gibbs is our younger dog, right? So I thought like we were trying to show him and we were putting treats inside. We were like, look, here's the treat and then put it inside and like trying to show him how to do it. And he like just did not care whatsoever. But Becky, however, <laughs> was like, I want it. And, and I that surprised me. Becky was like crazy into like the dog puzzle. Ooh. And I was like, out of the two of you, I did not think Becky would be into it. Is it called the Outward Hound Dog Brick Toy? No, nope, it's like this, little doors that they open. Um, I tried one like that, but this one that I that well, there's a diff, there's a variety of different ones. So this one's that I took a photo of is called the Dog Tornado. So it's like um, different layered pieces of like shaped plastic and they all rotate and turn so when you rotate and turn one with the paw it opens up little doors in the next level of plastic where the cool. treats are hidden so they're trying to paw at this thing and turn it around and and stuff like that and there's a variety of different ones like that like like i said for dogs and it's good for them when they're pups like another one um that i got that gibbon like legit loved as a puppy um was the weighted kong so it looks like the oh. big like a big giant version of a kong toy and it has a little hole in the side and it's weighted at the bottom so it it, it weebles and wobbles back and forth and you put the treats inside and then there's one little hole so like if you weeble and wobble it the right way it will drop treats like kibble dog kibble so you put dog kibble inside and then they just like keep pushing this thing with their nose because they're like is it gonna give me a treat is it gonna give me a treat is it gonna give me a treat <laughs> and then and like gibbon like love this thing he would just like push this thing around the room for like like oh yeah oh god forever he loved Ligum it had this like big orange ball that you mm -hmm. put kibble in it and you would just like he would just roll it around the room and then sometimes a treat would pop out yes so yes. he liked that too yeah, I'm I'm a fan of those. That is that is a high recommend from me. It totally is. Good. In terms of clothing, I'm trying to think of the name of I have. So if you have a, a short haired dog, I would recommend getting like, well, if, if you live in a winter city like we do, um, a coat of some kind because they do freeze out there and they start to shake. When it gets like minus like 40 and stuff, which it does in our city sometimes, their ears can crack and they come in from the cold and they flappa, flappa, flappa and their ears are bleeding and blood goes flying like everywhere. So that oh. never, yeah, that never happened. You need a toque. Yeah, so chili dogs, <laughs> what it is, is it's not like a toque, but it's like this big, um, like it's like a big tube of like um, fleece basically. And at each end of the oh. tube, there's a drawstring. So you put it over their head and it goes down their neck. And I have a photo of Gibbs with his chili dog on because I got it for him because one of our coworkers um, from our previous workplace, she had a boxer and she told me that he would come in like after, cause he would go, like they would let him out. She lived on a huge property. So she would let him out for like his, his nighttime pee or whatever. And he would like be out there for a bit too long. And she'd be like, you know, get back in here. And usually the short hair dogs are good about coming in. Like they're like, oh my God, it's so cold. Like I can't deal. And they come back in. But anyways, he would come in, but his ears would crack and he, they would bleed. So after oh. she told me that, and after I heard about how this company was made by literally somebody in, by somebody in my direct community, I went out and I bought one right away. So um, Gibbon has a chili dog. I've used it on him in the extreme cold weather he's not the hugest fan of it but once he's out and trotting around he he doesn't care anymore so he's pretty good about it um and we will have to post a a, a pic of gibbs and his chili dog yeah i like uh uh yas to the chili dog for sure and i'm pretty sure that chili dog also makes um uh jackets as well i am going to look oh, them probably. up probably but um, no, their hats are, are amazing. And they're Canadian and like I said, like pretty local. So I'm very happy. Um, they make coats as well. Oh, I see it. 
Yeah. That is cool. It's a head muff. Yeah. Yes. It is a head muff. Snazzy. Snazzy stuff. Gibbs is like mm-hmm. super cute. And it's and it's funny because all of the dogs on their website, their model dogs, with the exception of this one doodle, are all like different um th- the different type of breeds with like the super thin floppy ears. Like there's a Dalmatian and there's an um I think this, I was trying, like, on an episode forever ago when we were talking about specific breeds or whatever, there's this one type of dog, and it's called, like, an Ibizan Hound, and it kind of, they're very funky-looking dogs. They're very thin, short-haired, super um, thin-eared dogs. Okay. Yeah. So, yas to the chili dogs for the for the flopsy ears. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Definitely, yes. How do you feel about those poo bag dispenser things? I always lose them. What's a poo bag dispenser? Like those little, oh, like, like the um, little things? Yeah. Yeah, that you pull your poo bag out. Yes. I always lose them. Or I lose half of it and then my poo bags come out. And I don't notice it until I need a poo bag. Um, so I use them, I clip them to my leash and, um, my leash that was made by Mish, Mish's leashes, (laughs) she has like a a tiny little loop, like to, um, connect that stuff on. So they usually come with a clip of some sort. Um, yeah, but then mine would always open. Oh, really? And then my bags would, would come out and then I wouldn't notice. Oh God. Maybe I just had cheap ones. Maybe. Um, I, I bought, there was this pack one day at Costco and it was called like, oops, poops. <laughs> and, uh, it, it came with like, I think like 30 rolls of poop bags and then two dispensers that you could clip on. And they were pretty like, it was plastic, but it was pretty heavy duty plastic. And, um, I've never had any issues with them. I think my dad has lost one or two because yes, they do go missing. It's like one of those things that you lose, like a glove or like a I don't know I don't know what else to compare to but um yeah they do go missing yeah but I've never had any issues with them breaking but I bet you it is one of those things where you can get like cheap versions or like nicer ones potentially but mine are good Hmm. I I use them in this like in the winter it's easy to just grab like a whole like a bunch of poo bags and throw them in your pocket and like it's funny because yeah I I have poo bags like everywhere they're in my car they're in my (laughs) purse they're in every jacket that I own but in the summertime when like you're not wearing like huge jackets with deep pockets and stuff like that um I use the clips more and I clip them to either a belt loop or whatever so that you can just walk a bit more freely so I would say yas to the poo bag dispensers Yes. 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 Poo bag dispensers. Mm-hmm. Um, I think there's a, a variety of different devices for feeding too. Like there's like, you know, the water fountains that you can keep. So there's like a continual like trickle of water and, um, oh, yeah. and stuff like that. And again, I'm, I'm very indifferent to those because I find like, like you could spend mega bucks on a water fountain like that and then your dog's gonna drink out of the toilet anyways so yeah or maybe that's just my dogs i catch becky every once in a while and i although i strongly discourage it dogs are gonna look at the toilets they're gonna drink out of pee, <laughs> they will pee, pee puddles they're gonna drink out of like wherever they can find it so um i do like the bowls that have all the grooves in it that prevents your dog's from inhaling their food. Oh, So William yes. had one of those. Gibbon still has his dog bowl like that because, yeah, if you feed him in a regular bowl, like, yeah, the, he doesn't even chew. It's like, gum, 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 gone. <laughs> and um, <laughs> with there's certain um, dogs that are more prone to, like, stomach torsion, so you don't want them eating, like, like a ton at a super alarming rate because it increases their chance Mm of messing with their stomach like really badly um yeah yeah no like a yes to the puzzle bowl definitely yes and they're and they're relatively cheap too so if you notice that your dog is like can't breathe because they're eating so fast i would highly recommend a puzzle bowl yeah oh um here's another one that uh 
I haven't tried yet, but it's, it might be my next purchase. And it is, um, like microfiber towels. Um, so my, micro- yes. yes, microfiber towels are amazing because they absorb like a ton of waters at a super fast r- rate and they easily wick off things like sand, dirt, like leaves, all that kind of stuff that dogs okay. try in. So I think they're super great for it. Like even after, like if you bathe, if you're bathing your dog on your own at home, it's a good mm-hmm. towel to use afterwards. Uh, but also it, to keep one in your car, if you're going to a dog park or taking your dog somewhere like messy, um, I would highly recommend. And they come in all different shapes and sizes. So you can get small ones, big ones. They have, um, it's called a soaker mitt made out of microfiber. So it's like big mitts that you put on so that you can like pat them dry and soak it all up. There's a big one called a soaker chamois. That's like, it's like a two handed (laughs) towel. (laughs) It's like the what size of commercial? a dish. Oh yeah, Shamwow. <laughs> Shamwow. 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 And some people even get microfiber like bandanas to put around their dog. My husband, unfortunately, is like very against dog clothing. <laughs> he thinks it embarrasses <laughs> them. And I can remember when we had scraps and with scraps, it was a bit more funny. I had him over at my friend Rachel's house and they had like a tiny dog named Angel and um they had her parents had bought Angel a t-shirt and I forget what it said I think it said like top dog and there was like a picture of like a hot dog (laughs) on it (laughs) Angel was a girl so it was like pink (laughs) and (laughs) <laughs> I forget why I had scraps at her place but anyways they they had bought this t-shirt and it was way too big for Angel she's like do you want do you want it for scraps and I said if I come home with a t-shirt on scraps like <laughs> Matt will divorce me <laughs> but sure enough we we had scraps try it on and I thought like he was going to be embarrassed and or be like what the hell and try to chew it off and he did like a proud like strut around her kitchen like he was like, <laughs> loving the t-shirt he was like mm, who's top dog I'm top Top dog. <laughs> oh my god, it go was scraps. so funny. We were like laughing like crazy hard. Oh, scraps. And um, while on the topic of clothing and well, different articles and stuff for your dog too, I think we mentioned it way back like on episodes near the beginning. Um, there's a variety of different collars and some people have favorite kinds um, depending on what you're doing with your dog and where you're going with your dog. So Correct. M- my favorite I think it's episode four yes I think it's worth bringing up again though but my favorite are the paracord collars and leashes it's yes. tightly woven so it doesn't retain stink as much um and I was talking about it in the lounge at work the other day and uh one of my colleagues was talking about how she likes um these uh they're made out of like almost like a silicon or rubber material collars and for the same reason like and I'm noticing one here on a website that I'm looking at and it's it's called like a waterproof collar and so same thing you you can buy different collars for your dogs depending on where you're going to be going with them so it is it looks like a silicon based thing so you know like if they go in like like scraps did rolling in like deer carcasses and every spring they would go up there and find a big pile of deer poop and roll in it as well and they just reek and you're not throwing out collars or you know that you can't wash like deer poop out of or a skunk or whatever skunk is the one thing that penetrates the paracord for sure but yeah. and again you don't you can't always predict when your dog's going to get skunked but uh for in terms of general use I'm a huge fan of the paracord uh I haven't tried these silicone rubbery ones I don't like I don't know if that would feel like I don't know how comfortable that would be that for, would pull for the, dog. the hair no I well I would think too yeah maybe I would uh, for but... that I would I would like to see it in person and feel it I think like yeah I mean maybe you can buy one and put it on if you go if the dog goes swimming I would look into it for sure and um paracord collars are are relatively cheap all things considering too so Mm -hmm. I will always back up the paracord there's a variety I'm sure people are aware of subscription boxes out there right now there's like you can buy a subscription box to just about like anything to like 
food to treats, candy, flowers, beauty products, like fitness products. There's a variety of different ones. And there's two um, dog ones that I'm aware of. There's an American one and a Canadian one. I've tried one. I've tried the American one. I have not tried the Canadian one. So we purchased the Bark Box when we first, uh, in Gibbons, when he was about six months, I think I started getting one. And um, you can build your own box so it can come, like you can get, you know, like 10 items or like under 10 items or, and of course, at a different cost for each one. Um, The box that we got came with um, a plush toy, a big chew, Uh um, a chewy treat of some kind, and then two bags of treats the reason why so we got it for several months and it was super fun our my kids would go to the mailbox and come back and be like and it's like Gibbon knew it was for him like they would be like your box is here the bark box is here and he'd like follow them into the kitchen like super excited and they had different themes each month and stuff like that and um the Gibbon loved he always loves the plush toys and they're destroyed within you know, two minutes and there's fluff (laughs) everywhere around the house. But I found it was too many treats. So, and all the treats were very good companies and they were made with like natural ingredients and like a low amount of ingredients and stuff in each one. But um, we just, we wouldn't, we were not, we're not treat, treat people with the dogs. Like I feed my dogs kibble if I, if I need to be doing something with them or if I want to reward them with something, I just feed them with their own kibble. So we were like stacking up these like bags and bags of treats and Gibbs has a sensitive tummy, of course. So like, um, I just stopped the subscription box cause it was, we were accumulating treats like out our yin yang. So. Yeah. I saw one in a YouTube video. I can't remember the name. It wasn't bark box. But they do follow your dog's age. So if you subscribe when your dog is a puppy, Mm -hmm. they keep track of the dog's age and they send appropriate toys and gifts and treats for the dog. Well, that's cute. Mm Mm-hmm. That's super cute. Yeah. I feel like maybe this is a wrap. A good time to wrap it up. Yeah. (laughs) So there's a variety of different products. If we see any other ones that we think of, we can mention them on future episodes. If you guys have any favorite products that we didn't mention, I would love to hear about them because I'm always down for a new doggy product. Yeah. And I might just add them to my Amazon cart. (laughs) (laughs) We are going to bankrupt Baronic with them. (laughs) Um, Or even if you found different uses for some of the things that we've already mentioned. That would be awesome. So definitely reach out. Give us a give us a shout out, a bark out. Whoop, 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 whoop. Alrighty then. Alrighty. We'll see you next week on Let's Boop Snoots. On Let's Boop Snoots. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.